Oh, this is what it looks like. Craig called him. <laughs> oh my god. What happened? <laughs> well, they're showing the footage right now, if you want to see it. A, a car, a van, a white van crashed right where that parking spot is. He hit the gas instead of the brakes, so he just crashed right into... Yeah. Yeah, a car just went through our building. A car just went through our building. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Seriously? Yeah. Hi, Chris. How hey, how's it going? Good. So this is the before. Well, hopefully we'll be boarded up by tomorrow. That's the before. Let me put it in. Do you have? Oh yeah. This is right when it's about to happen. Yeah. Just a normal, quiet day. Yeah, we're just doing our thing. And this is the spot that he's going to try to park in, but not very successfully. So there was a customer there earlier, so if they wouldn't have moved, this never would have happened. So we're going to see if we can sue them for moving their car. That seems fair, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that what you would do? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Totes. Let us know in the comments yeah. below. Here he comes. Oh, Bam! Really and it was the vegan shelf he took out, Chris. They m really must have wanted to. Oh, but he reversed it. it. Okay, so that's good. He reversed it. <laughs> we're here, Hercules. Yeah. They were so excited to come here. So what was the explanation? Did you know? Did you? He said that the bottom of his shoe was wet and it slipped off of the gas or off of the brake onto the gas. But he probably just hit the gas. I kind of think they were excited to get some chocolate. You think that's what it was? Yeah. It could be. I mean, I think other people say that he may have been trying to top my hole in the wall. Do you maybe. think that was it? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, that is a bigger hole. Maybe he wanted to be on your channel. Oh, he's not here though. Well, I, I guess you can kind of see him there somewhere, but they, they stayed in their vehicle. Call for, yeah. Call back for Hi, interview. this is Terry from her <laughs> Yeah, you should. Did you want to talk to me? <laughs> um, who, who was it? Anybody that was it just a customer? No, just a customer. Did they yeah. buy? Did they buy anything? Well, from then on, we were closed. The oh. Police asked us to vacate the building in case there's any serious damage or anything, which there doesn't appear to be. So, this is an inconvenience, and it's a little chilly in here right now, but we'll probably be okay. Yeah. I mean, the where he took out this cabinet, I had moved this earlier in the day because it had been over here with a lot of candy, but we've been selling so much, so I just there's really nothing there, other than a wall. Well, besides, and th you rent this building, right? Yes. So it's... Yeah, we've got loss of income for being closed for a few hours, and um, but other than that, it's, it's not too serious. It's just slowing us down because we've just been so busy. We don't really have time for this type of thing. People driving into a wall, running yeah. into a wall, whatever. Uh, yeah, this is the busiest time It's the wall thing. What's with the walls? <laughs> All right, so in other news, uh, you want to show us around what's going on today here? Yeah, we re re rearranged a little bit. Because, you know, it, it run to shake things up, it's been a little bit boring. And you remember that hole that I put in the wall? Not big enough. <laughs> Look what we got now. We've remodeled extensively. This is the second hole that Rick has fi fixed for me. Wow. He's getting used to it. And you know what they say, three times is a charm. Yeah, but this one wasn't your fault. That's true. I don't know. Is there some way that can be blamed on me? <laughs> and I just had those windows cleaned this morning, too. I know. Well, now they're all over the ground. Well, the other windows are still pretty clean, but that one is gone. Well, it's like it's not dirty anymore, but... And tomorrow our floor cleaner comes, and the floor's all marked up. So did you have to take most of the candy out of there? Maybe there really wasn't anything the over there. Marker. Just the vegan. <laughs> yeah, he just hit the vegan candy. What'd you say? Maybe we can just get him to dust instead. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's just got to get boarded up and, uh, you know. So, because we lease the building, so we don't really have to worry about that part too much. We just have to secure it for the night. Yeah, is anything going on in the candy making room? or? Yeah, they're still making candy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe see, see what they're doing. There's uh, the pile of glass candy. Yeah. Merry Christmas. This is the vegan shelf. They, this is what they went after. Oh, somebody around here doesn't like the vegans. I know. Look at that. I took it right out. There's Steve. Uh, this is, uh, so Craig told me to come down and do oh, yeah. this here. So um, go on in there. It's yeah. warm. So, it's warm in here. So what happened? What did you hear it? Oh yeah. yeah we it was heard a big it. bang. We heard it. it sounded like a bomb went off oh, out wow. there. We heard the girls screaming and uh, 
and we r ran right out there and uh, the whole wall was kicked in and the car was halfway in the building. <laughs> yeah, I, saw the, I just saw the footage. Oh, did you? Yeah. No, oh, we should go watch the footage. Yeah. <laughs> go watch the footage? <laughs> well, it's going to be freezing out there now. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. I don't know how long the girls can work. Well, they are closed they right now, so. Yeah, right. But I mean, they're going to pick up I mean, uh, the dust and everything. They're going to have to remove, remove products and stuff. Well, the contractor's going to get some uh, plywood up soon, probably, right? Yeah. So hopefully he'll be able to get it sealed in and warmed up. Pretty crazy. These are like the 20 pound candy bars that you're cutting? Yeah, it's well, 10 pounds. 10 pounds? Or 10 pounds? Yeah, 10 pounds, yeah. For chunk chocolate and stuff. What what kind of candy were you making when this happened? Uh, I was just, um, I was just doing uh, some molds by hand and uh, some nut cups. And then we heard the crash because the door is always open. And uh, it was loud. <laughs> yeah, I saw you guys running out there. <laughs> They really took the whole wall down. And yeah, yeah, the, the whole foyer and uh, the wall's gonna have to be uh, replaced or reinforced or something. I don't know whatever they do. There's two people in the store, that's all. Yeah. But they weren't over there. So, otherwise they've been hit by the blocks. No, I just remember I put something Yeah, Craig called me and he's like, you gotta get down there and film this. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Some hole. Yeah, you're doing the chocolate covered pe uh, pretzels or uh, chips? Yeah, chips, nut cups. We still gotta keep working. Yeah. <laughs> what, when do you think you're Christmas. gonna open again? Uh, hopefully in a day. You know, they'll have it sealed so up at least. Like a, at least a little tarp or something. Yeah, he's gonna put plywood up the contractor, and so because we don't want somebody trying to sneak in or anything. Right. Then you'll have more more content for a video. Here's some people stealing our chocolate. We are lucky they sneak in and then hurt themselves and then sue yeah. us or something. <laughs> right? <laughs> you see that happening too. Yeah. And the chocolate is just going. So in the meantime, what else have we got going here? Well, we're just trying to catch up now while we got some time. Yeah. I'm what doing pretzel nuggets and Kelly's doing marshmallows. And Kara's doing potato chip bar. And we're going as fast as we can. What's that? This is potato chip bar. Oh, wow. Here's the whole bin of it. So now get closer. Get closer. Get closer, look. Let's see. All right, I made it. I literally thought there was an explosion happening because I turned around. I'm, you're all standing right here, and I thought there, an explosion just went off. But no one was standing. Bye. And thank God no one was standing there. There's no customers in here other than like one guy over here. But like that could have been way worse. I know. Yeah. In other news, Terry's still wearing her coat in the store. What's up with that? It's a little windy in here. Okay. So what have we got? Well, we've got gingerbread people. No, I still haven't updated the website because I was—I think I was just about to start that, and then somebody drove through the store. Um, <laughs> oh, smashed! Our, oh, another Kara, you just did this work. They smashed your animal crackers. This is not right. Somebody's gonna have to pay for this. <laughs> A car ran over it. Yes. So as far as stock, so most of the stock is over here, and this is these are items that we just put out and didn't. This is facing the wrong way, so I don't know if that happened in the, the accident, but there we go. We got brittle, we made brittle yesterday, and we ran chocolate covered brittle yesterday. And we got some sea salt almond bark. We got a Santa who didn't get damaged. Is that solid chocolate? Nope, that one is hollow. Hollow? People tend to not want to pay a solid chocolate price, so they so yeah. they want the, the big look, but not the big price tag. So we didn't do stuff like that hollow. And for most people, it would take all year to get to the next one. Depending on the person. Exactly. <laughs> now we've been trying, like, like you can't believe, to get these clusters filled up, but it's been a losing battles. Um, mostly we're working on making assorted chocolates for those box chocolates, and that's what Steve and Max have been working on, is assorted chocolates. So, uh, 
these shelves are pretty empty, but uh, we're hoping to circle back around soon and uh, not let this slow us down too much. We got that adrenaline thing going, so we should really be able to work tonight. Mm -hmm. We did get some chocolate covered sponge candy from our friend Paul. Got some pretzels. And we've been trying to keep up on the bark. This is one of everybody's favorites, is the peanut butter potato chip bark because the cow chips are too tough to keep up with, but this is a pretty good substitute. Potato chip bark with peanut butter on top. And then we've been trying to keep up on the uh, regular potato chip bark because when we can't get the chips on the shelf, we can get the bark on the shelf. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. See ya. See you later. See you next time when it's not so cold in here. Yeah, it is a little chilly. <laughs> I wish somebody would shut the door. It's happening. <laughs>